Do you know the rules of the road? If you see them pulled over, get out of that lane because you never know if the driver's going to get out. For years, drivers have had to move over or get pulled over. Pull over to the right, you're being stopped. Now that law is expanding, and we're helping you better understand the new move over law. For 20 years now, we've had to move over or slow down when we see law enforcement or first responders on the side of the road. Well, now it applies to any car, truck, or emergency response vehicle stopped on the shoulder. CBC's Mommy's Austin Carter got first-hand access to see the law at work. He's working overtime for us this evening and joins us live from Southwest Ranches with more on this very important change. Austin. It is very important, Jim, and plain and simple, this law is about saving lives. For over two decades, the focus has been on protecting law enforcement and first responders. Now it's about all of us if we are pulled over on the side of the road. And that's why we rode along with the Florida Highway Patrol to see how they're cracking down on the move over law. Behind the wheel in South Florida, it seems we are constantly seconds away from disaster. A trooper and another driver here barely escaping this crash on I-95 in Palm Beach County in 2021. The trooper was helping a woman when the truck came barreling at them. This is a reality first responders face far too often. Prime example, like there's no reason why they're not moving over here too. I rode along with FHP Lieutenant Indiana Miranda to see firsthand the dangers emergency crews and drivers face when they don't move over. He was going 90 on a 70. During a traffic stop on I-75 near Weston, we were on the lookout for anyone not moving over on the express lanes. Go to get the white one. It didn't take long. You see this one, uh, did not move over. And he didn't slow down. Once we caught up to the car, it got tense. I have an unmarked Dodge that's blocking him because he's not stopping, signal 14. Pull over to the right, you're being stopped. Pull over to the right. On the shoulder, the danger is still there. It's a delicate balance of getting the job done and staying safe. So you're usually used to having them in the car and you keeping obviously a visual on cars coming, the violator and what you're doing on the computer. This driver was issued a move over citation. Since 2020, there have been 177 crashes in Miami-Dade and Broward counties because drivers did not follow the law and move over. 15 of those have happened just this year. That's according to the State Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. Very scary because you can get killed. If you see them pulled over, get out of that lane because you never know if the driver's going to get out. South Florida drivers tell us folks not moving over is a frequent sight, especially on the turnpike in I-95. Yeah, that happens all the time. And whether you're on the lane that has the accident or the opposite lane. Troopers are revving up enforcement. So far this year, 642 move over citations have been issued in our area. A lot of the times education is key and we rather educate that person to avoid it happening in the future than just them leaving with a bad taste in their mouth because they just got a very high fine or with some points on their driver's license. All right, so what do you do if you can't move over? Let's say, for example, you're on a two lane road. Well, the FHP says that you'll want to drop your speed down to 20 miles per hour, less than the posted limit. Also keep this in mind. Let's say you're on one of our interstates, maybe the Turnpike or I-75 here. This law doesn't only apply to that right shoulder. This also applies to anyone that's pulled over on that breakdown lane on the left side. That's the very latest here live in Southwest Ranches. We'll send it back to you in Doral. Austin, sounds like a great new law that could potentially save a lot of people's lives. I mean, on the roads, we've all seen it. No, we certainly have. And Austin, I was checking some stats. It says that young drivers are the ones more likely to violate this new move over law. Folks, drivers between 20 and 40 years old. So the message really should, I guess, be targeted to them, especially. In Miami, I say all drivers. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's in a hurry here. Yes. <laughs> all right. Austin, thank you, Austin. Austin, thank you so much.